it also becomes, it's, it's waha. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. One little mistake, it's no problem. Mendix 10.5 is out, and this video covers the updated Rapid Developer Exam, a visual builder for XBath, rebase version control, and more. Let's dive in. It's time to learn and get your Rapid Developer Certificate. With the new and improved exam experience, you can register with just two clicks. You're guided through the exam and get to see your results immediately afterwards. Find out more at academy.menix.com. We are pleased to announce that we are passing the torch of our training delivery to our official Mendix training partners. This transition promises an enhanced and tailored learning experience for you. Find your next training at academy.menix.com and go to the details page to explore the list of training partners in your region, including options for various languages. Also, if you want to become the next certified Mendix trainer, get in touch with us by sending an email to academy at mendix.com. The beta version of the new visual editor for database constraint development is available now. The visual builder helps you to quickly develop the most common database constraint use cases without having to learn and write XBOTH. The visual editor supports the nesting of combinations of and or constraints up to two levels deep. The builder works seamlessly together with the XBOTH expression editor. You can also toggle to XBOTH expression if you want to understand the XBOTH behind your constraint or need to extend it with advanced features. Together with the introduction of the new XBOTH builder, we've also taken the opportunity to unify the two database-related data sources, database and XBOTH, into database. The combo box widget will be the successor of not just one or two, but four widgets. It consolidates the functionalities of the drop-down widget, reference selector, reference set selector, and input reference selector. So it doesn't only support enumeration and Boolean attributes, but also associations of references and reference sets, and therefore also single and multi-select. For a better UX, the widget also supports type ahead to filter options. It also comes with many customization options, like using widgets in the combo box, for example, if you want to have an image next to the text. Ready to give it a spin? Download the combo box from the marketplace today. We've introduced Rebase as the default action for combining local changes with changes on the server as an alternative to making a merge commit. Using Rebase results in a simpler commit history, as all commits are being made sequentially. From Mendix 10.5 onwards, you can choose to either rebase or do a merge commit. After completing one of these processes, your version history will look something like you see in this image. Every time you interact with the server when there are both local and remote commits, you can choose how to combine the work. We recommend using rebase, but you can adjust the default with a user preference if needed. For more information on how these actions work and their differences, check out the documentation. We've recently released a feature in portfolio management that lets you import predefined initiatives to the board or export your portfolio board or a subset of initiatives to an Excel file. Brand new in 10.5 is the assign to an initiative feature. With this new feature, you can link your epics to portfolio initiatives, making progress tracking easier, clearer, and based on actual data from the planning tool. Initiatives become more tangible because the actual development work needed to make it happen is now there at a glance. No more guesswork or mental load when it comes to progress tracking, as you can now see how many stories are completed in each linked epic from the initiative itself. If you want to dive deeper, you can open the relevant page in epics and see the progress of each individual story. The straightforward view of the assigned epics and their progression makes it easier to detect initiatives at risk, and there is no more juggling between files and tools. Everything is consolidated. Try it out and let us know what you think using the feedback button. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com slash blog, or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.5 at marketplace.menix.com to use all these new features right now. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it, and if you didn't, hit the dislike button. Either way, we'll know if you want to see more. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.